Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we loaded some sample products from our database onto this product list table. So we have several issues that we need to fix. One of them is the font icons that are not appearing on the buttons. And the second issue is the data tables API is not working fine. Also, we have other issues like I'm currently having a customer role, but I can still view the ad product and this button should be only appearing or can be viewed by an admin role user. So as we progress, we'll see many issues and we will fix those issues. But let's start with adding the missing icons on these buttons. And to add the icons, we are going to use a library called as Font Awesome. Now Font Awesome provides free version and a pro version so let's say i click on this start using free so go to the icons and here are the icons that which i can use in my application for example i want to use this icon here but i see it says pro so i cannot use it but i hover over this it doesn't say pro which means i can use it with the free version of the library all i have to do is copy the html code which has an i tag on it and then go to my application and place it on the on the HTML code where I want to display the font. So I want to display it on the button. So I place it between the buttons closing and opening tags. Now I want to search any icon that's available. I can just go and search for it. So I want to search a list icon. So I have a list icon and the code for that is FAS FA list. So all I have to do is copy that and paste it there. So I want to create a delete button. So I need a trash icon. So I will search for a trash icon that's free. So there are many available here. Let's say I want to use this. So I'll copy this code. So this library is available in free version. And that's what we are going to use in this project. So to install Font Awesome, we are not going to use the CDN link. We will instead install it using NPM Package Manager. So let's go back to application and you all know the drill in order to install packages we need to open our terminal and let's right click on our client app go to tools and open the terminal now let's type the command that's needed to install the npm package for font awesome icons so guys whenever you want to install any library in your application so in this case we are installing the npm package for font awesome we should always read the documentation provided by the developers so if i go back to the application font awesome's web page at the bottom it will show how you can install the packages uh, using the following application so we are using npm package manager so i'm going to click on npm and here it will tell you that what's included inside the package so we will get the css javascript svg web fonts and so on inside the packages also the command to install using npm how to install the font awesome library now guys if you're using yarn then you can use this but we are using npm as our package manager so i'm going to copy this command as it says font awesome free we are going to use the free version now note when I go back to the terminal, I'm on a Mac, so I have to use the sudo command, paste the npm command after that, and then hit enter. It will ask me for my password. I'll type in my password and hit enter. Now, as you see, it's going to install, npm is going to install font awesome package. Zero vulnerabilities found, and the package was installed successfully. To verify that the package was installed we'll go back to the package.json file now sometimes it might happen that inside your application or client app you would not be able to see some files now all you have to do is right click on the solution and display the options to show all files and then you would be able to see the package.json file click on it open it and here you can confirm if font awesome is installed in your npm packages here you will see that the font awesome package has been installed and the version number for the package also note if you don't see the package after installing the package successfully all you have to do is close the file and reopen it again it's probably 
not being seen because the file was not loaded correctly but it should be there once you load the file now font awesome has been installed successfully now let's go back to application and see if font awesome is loading the icons because we already have the tags in place for the icons but the font awesome library is not able to load the icons and the reason being in our application we have just installed the package but we have not imported the package inside the application it's only in the package which is file saying that we have the package but in order to use it we have to import it so how do we do that so we have installed a uh, font awesome library and we have installed the latest version of font awesome which is 5.8.1 and it's available under the Fort Awesome folder. So in order to check uh, that which folder it is installed, just go to your node modules folder. After you have right clicked and displayed all the files and folders, inside the node modules folder, you will see the Fort Awesome folder, which contains your Font Awesome free package. Now to use this, if you go back to your application, it wouldn't load your fonts because we have not yet imported them inside the styles of our application. So to reference them, what we want to do is open the style.css file of our application. So you all know that inside the client application, we have a style.css file, which is used to add styling globally. That means to all the components uh, in our application. So we are going to use this import tag to import the for Fort Awesome, Font Awesome free folder and then import the all.css file from the CSS folder. To get the path, once again, all you have to do is open your node modules folder, go to the Fort Awesome, inside that Font Awesome free, then CSS and all.css. You have to add the path here. So all the CSS is imported for the fonts. Then choose your, choose your favorite fonts over here by copying the i tags the html and replace them here with the i tags that i have here between the button and once you have done that all you have to do is save your file go and see on your application that you will see now that the page has refreshed and the font icons appear now this is how you will add font icons inside your application also if i log out you will notice that there are some icons appearing here in the registration that was because i had the icons code but i didn't have the font awesome library imported that's why they it wasn't uh, being uh, displayed in the uh, login form but now we have it here so when i log in we will also have it inside the products view in the data table now the next thing that we would need to fix it which is the data tables which is showing an error and it's a very simple fix and we will fix that in the next video tutorial please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy and the code for this tutorial will be available in the devops repo